Hey everyone, Josh here. Uh, we're just doing a cam replacement on an 06 Volkswagen Jetta TDI with the BRM engine code. Uh, these are known for the cam lobes and the followers wearing out. Which this one, if you look, you can kind of see the scratching on that lobe there. Another one's right there. Um, Show a little better picture of the followers once they're out. Um, it's mostly on the exhaust lobes that you run into the issue. So uh, let's take a look. So we have quite a few issues here. Um, first off, I'd just like to say the cam follower or the cam caps, they're all numbered. So you see that one's one. Uh, there's the two there. So they're all numbered. They all need to go back in the same spot. Number one is timing belt side, it continues over. Um, really the only ones you can get mixed up is two and I guess four. Um, three has thrust, thrust uh, casting I guess you'd call it. And the rest just have the, the caps for the uh, seals. So first issue is the lobes. You can see them wear, worn off. The exhaust ones only. Same thing. quite as bad. So here's the followers. So that one's an exhaust. Intake doesn't look terrible. Another exhaust that's dished out. Intake. Intake. I have pretty bad exhaust. Another intake. And a very bad exhaust. So what you'll end up seeing is they'll get so cuffed out that they will rub your injector lobe when it goes around just because of how dished out they are. We put a, a not very straight edge on it. You can see right there it's dished out pretty good. So these ones 
You can see they were black nitrated ones originally on the exhaust ones only. So that'd be an intake. That'd be another exhaust. If you're replacing your can, make sure they're all nitrated followers. So all the followers are junk, your cam's junk. Your cap bearings actually usually don't look terrible. But the ones that sit in the head are worn out. That is from the pressure of the rocker assembly for your injector, your injectors. And then the last issue, which this one actually doesn't have, is you have oil galleries drilled through there, which you get pressurized oil in that hole there. So that one there. So all both assemblies have those. Those plugs will get blown out. So there's videos online of people cutting the bolts to ram in there and stake them in. Um, all four of my caps are still in there, so I'm just going to stake them in and figure it's good till the next timing belt change. So, so the camera died during reassembly and I didn't catch on, but so here it is all back together. Um, as far as bolts, the small ones for the cam caps and the larger ones for the rocker assembly, they are non-reusable, or they're, they're a stretch bolt basically, like most bolts on Volkswagens. Um, you can get non-stretch bolts from multiple online vendors. Um, I ended up buying some in bulk just from Fastenal. Um, these are the small ones for holding the cam caps on. These are the larger ones for holding the rocker assembly on. Um, since they're not stretch bolts, you have to torque them differently. Um, the cam cap bolts, the small ones, are 12 foot pounds. And these bigger ones, I'd torque them to 25 foot pounds with the outside ones at 23 foot pounds. Um, another thing to do when you put the cam caps on is to make sure you hit them with a hammer to make sure they're sitting straight because they no longer have the knurls that the Volkswagen OEM bolts have. Um, I'll see if I can find a used one here and show as an example. So the timing belt's on. Um, I'll see if I can't figure out how to post a shortcut to it if anybody has wants to see it. Um, so basically now we're going to adjust the injector lash. Um, it's a good idea just to double check when you put a different cam in. Um, I actually put a BEW cam into this BRM. It's a less aggressive cam. So it's just what I had laying around and that's what I put in. So you can use a dial indicator to make sure that the injector is all the way depressed or another way you can check is if your intake lobe is pointing up into I guess the roller assembly there. Um, the injector lobes uh, would be your second one there it lines up with the intake runner. Your fourth one you can see it there again and it switches here to the fifth one and then your seventh one. So go across and do them all. I've already cracked this jam nut loose. So you're basically going to get an Allen key. Just count the strokes so you're gonna loosen the jam nut off a little ways. So the OEM was about three quarters of a turn. Um, there's an updated one where it's about half a turn. So it's up to you, whatever you want to use. I've been doing half turns and they seem to be running fine. 
So that's your injector lash set, and then you just tighten the jam nut down, and you should be good to go. So that should conclude the cam install. Um, you'll want to check torsion value afterwards, which is kind of part of the timing belt service. So if you want to see that, then uh, you can check my timing belt video out and uh, see if you learn anything.